There's also a question about how much of uh, some sort of united effort there can be by uh, global developed markets, by governments that are not on the same page anymore in the same kind of way. How much is there sort of a go it alone, keep borrowing until you can't anymore feeling that wasn't there, say, 10 years ago? Clearly, during COVID, there was an official policy of the of of IMF, of ECB, of the of the U.S. Uh, to spend as much as possible, and a lot of the developing countries did that. They borrowed at floating rates. So now the, the, there is the the need for adjustment. There was talk on your previous sector segment of whether five percent interest rates is sustainable. I find that I'm really skeptical of that because if you think of the whole concept of finance, it's based on a return on investment. So if your riskless rate is 5%, what possible projects could you be doing that are going well. to return more than 5% over a period of time? <clears throat> it doesn't add up. So we have to get to a spot where there can be lower interest rates. I think that requires a lot more downward pressure on prices from production. So the, the whole question mark variable is how much energy production is going to be done in order to make up for all these deficits. You can't run right. the world economy on $85 a barrel oil with a hostage crisis going on. That's not going to be sustainable.